So hello YouTube, my name is LightFriber.com and this will be a tutorial on uh, how to disassemble Lenovo ThinkPad E550. This one has uh, well, quite a few problems. It turns on and then it shuts down. There you have it. So, without further ado, let's get on with this. First thing you need to do is, of course, remove the battery and then remove there are three screws. So, let's remove these three screws. Okay. The first part, then there are four screws which hold the hard drive. I'll be placing them here. Now, this laptop has few screw lengths, but nothing extra, I would say. So, let's remove a couple of those. Okay. Now, I will remove the hard drive by pulling it. This is a Seagate 500 gigabytes. Okay. Now, there are a couple of screws beneath. I will be placing them in the corner because, as I said, I think that not all screws are the same length. So, here's one and here is the other. And now, let's remove the rest. Okay, it seems so far that all of the screws are actually are the same size. So, if I find any that is not, I'll be definitely letting you know. So, okay. I am not recording with my uh, widescreen lens, my GoPro, because a battery ran out. And since GoPro is actually not intended for this type of action, um, you cannot actually plug it in and use it. So there's that. Okay, now there's this this one and this one. So these two hold keyboard and I think that that's about it. Okay, so this one. Okay, now the keyboard screws. And again, all of the screws they actually do seem to be uh, the same length, so that's nice. Now what we need to do is to remove the DVD drive, only one screw, and press it. And once you remove the drive, you have two screws, three screws, sorry, in here. Okay. Now these ones are smaller, so I'll be placing them on my uh, DVD drive so that I recollect their location, okay, which is nice. Now let's see what's underneath the hood. Okay, are there any more screws in here? And no, I don't think so. And but there are a few screws in here, so let me show you. Okay. So, oh, and there is one more uh, in here, as you can see. Okay. The sound you hear is actually me sitting on a fit ball, so... <laughs> okay. This is one, and this is another. I think that's about it. here and now I will be removing the keyboard as soon as I find out how okay as you can see there is a little gap in here so I'll use some kind of pry tool just let me find one okay now the awesome thing for uh, opening this is actually guitar so 
I'll be placing it in here and I'll be lifting it. So now let's see whether I can actually remove this thing. Okay. Nope. Okay, maybe I need to press it a bit. Let's see if I can open it from the other side or maybe underneath. Okay, so obviously I will have to use a bit of a brute force. Okay, let's see, no. No, 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 no. Maybe there is something to push the keyboard, who knows. Okay, and I can probably press here. Okay, let's see that I can press. No. Mm -hmm. There might be another screw somewhere. Yes, there is a uh, one more screw in here. That one probably holds the keyboard as well. We'll see. And if not, I can probably lift this entire plastic. Okay, let's see. Again with the pry tool. Okay, let's see now. Okay. This thing is still not going up. Okay, let's see if I can open the entire plastic. Okay. And it seems that this is actually okay, just to see whether there are cables underneath. So, I will be lifting this entire part. Now, I won't be trying to pull too hard because there might be screws underneath. I, I assume that there actually are screws underneath, so I won't be brute forcing it, definitely. But you never know. This might be the easy. Yeah, it's not. But since I've opened this plastic, I can probably bend the keyboard a bit. Just let me take a look. Okay. Well, there's definitely something underneath. And my light fell. Be right back. Okay, so I'm back, and uh, yeah, there's one more screw which was hidden underneath the battery. Can you believe it? So, let's unscrew it. There's a lot of screws already. Okay, so let's try it now. Oh, don't fall down, don't fall down. Okay, so now what we need to do is to push the keyboard inside and now we can lift it off without using any brute force and now we need to yeah pull it and to open we just lift these little things up and remove it alrighty now there are a couple of screws as well and I will be, these are different lengths so I'll be placing them on a different part of my table because I'll be placing them on my upper part of the table. So, after removing these couple of screws, I think this should be it probably. Now I will, I will need to uh, disconnect this thing as well. Okay, sorry for the shaky cam. And I will be disconnecting this one. Okay. And there's one more screw in here as well. So, after disassembling, this should probably be very easy to remove. Now, I always use my guitar pick. Although I do not play actually guitar, but for this thing, it's actually quite good. Okay, now let's see. Okay. Alright. Okay, now, is there another screw? Oh, bloody hell. Okay, whatever. Ok, 
you know, this one will go mm -mm -mm -mm. here. Okay, and that's pretty much it. We're in like Flynn, as one YouTuber would say. Now we need to disconnect this thing. And this thing. And you actually pull this thing up. And you pull. Okay. Now there are a couple of screws that we need to remove. And as you can see, we have an arrow here. So these are the ones that you need to unscrew in order to remove the motherboard. And the other ones you don't actually need to, I think. There's an arrow here as well. Okay. Uh, let's see. Okay, there's one more here. Okay, let's see if I can lift it up. No. There are probably a couple of more screws. And, of course, this one as well. Okay, I need my neodymium magnets so I can lift this um, screw up. These things are powerful. But obviously not enough. Oh well. We'll leave it there. Now I want to just check to see whether something is holding the motherboard and I actually think that this is holding the motherboard so I'll be unscrewing that as well you have to remember the order you can see here that they've placed the white on the black and black on the white it's strange but there's a reason why that's in color okay and I think that we are now actually able to remove the motherboard so let's see okay okay it does looks it does look looks like it's coming up okay uh -huh. yeah but we also need to disconnect this thing as well so battery this thing uh. Okay, this thing, and I think that these are the speakers, so let's give it a go. Okay, okay, and that should be pretty much it. Okay, let's see what's holding this thing. pretty much it and there you have it you have I have you have successfully removed the motherboard which you can now clean this motherboard actually is rather clean but it's faulty so being clean won't actually help it well I hope you like this video if you did you can comment, like, whatever. If not, well, you know what to do. Bye-bye.